Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, okay. Um, we have shown here in the 2015 budgeted total $17,681,984. What we have spent, and it correlates to what we've received um, for this year, and some of this is projected because we won't have total year end until March on all of our receipts and so forth. <coughs> So it's projected we will have received and spent nineteen million eight eighty six nine seventy five. And so my request is that uh, you amend the two thousand fifteen budget, general fund budget, as shown. And then I'll do the other budget separate. The other or we can do them all together. How would you like it? Council, do we want to open the public hearing on it, each one of them individually? This is a hearing. Okay. All right. We got to do the adjustment separate. Yeah, we can pass this or not, whatever. Is there any other explanation unless we have questions? We can answer whatever no, questions we have. have any any other two Just that number? Not really. Okay. 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 Chairman, I'll make the motion that we go ahead and amend the 2015 budget to reflect the changes that's been presented. Second. Okay, we have in both the expense side and the revenue side. Okay, we have a motion to uh, to accept the uh, 2015 amended budget in revenue and expenses. Here's the revenue portion. Revenue side, you know, it matches. Um, now, what about the other funds? Do you do that separate? Did you want to do the other? We'll funds? take the other funds separate. That's okay. That's good. Okay. All right. So we have a motion and a second. Any discussion on the motion? Those in favor of Councilman Bangor? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. The other funds, again, uh, you have what was budgeted for 2015 in this line here, and in some of the funds we do have some amendments. Uh, you'll notice that these first special revenue funds have no change. The debt service fund has a, a bit of an increase uh, right here on the Parks and Recreation Debt Service. That increased up to 376.9 to 500,000. So the total went from 1,630,400 to 1,753,500. On capital projects, we had an increase that would be reflective. Uh, the ball diamonds are in here. The what else is in there? Down? Um, fire station. <coughs> bleachers that we purchased uh, from the fairgrounds. So that would be reflected in that amount. The, these monies that were, came from here mostly came from reserves. So where we did those projects and increased the amounts, those were things I brought to you and we approved those changes. During the year. During the year. So the reserves come over to cover those correct. on the revenue side. And then down in the service funds, we have a slight increase. Uh, Don Wood. Uh, as on the information systems, there's a slight increase there. And then in the auto fleet purchases here, we purchased another ambulance sooner than we thought we would. And so that, that bumped that. So that increased expenditure was covered by again? We, we had money in the funds yeah. To, yeah. to cover these. None of these required any sort of a tax change. Okay. These were all covered by. Uh, for instance, in these uh, maintenance funds and capital project funds, we we have monies in those funds that carry from year to year. And we can put money into them. So when we move money from reserve into the fund, that money stays. That's different than the previous fund we approved, where that money goes away. So we're talking about the reserves. How, how we're looking at our reserves, we probably will need to, be, to meet the state requirements, I'm sure. We'll be under the 50%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, any other questions, Council? If not, we would accept the motion to uh, accept the 2015 amended budget for other funds so with the reflected changes. Okay, we have a motion and a second by Council McCullough. <coughs> any other discussion? Those in favor? Yes. 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 Okay, so that takes care of the amendments for 2015 budget. It does. So let's look now at the proposed uh, general fund budget. This would be uh, what uh, Dell and myself have put together for the proposed revenue side of the 2016 budget. Show taxes, license permits, and the revenue, charges, services, fines, forfeitures, miscellaneous contributions, transfers, contributions, fund balance. For a total of 19921308 You'll notice that number isn't very different from what you just amended. So we're not projecting much of a difference in our fund growth from 2015, actual 2015 to budget 2016. About $40,000 a month. That's all. So uh, then when we look at the actual general fund, you can see here uh, what we're proposing in a breakdown for the different departments. Uh, some of those that stick out, let's uh, look at the manager's budget and the district court budget. We transferred the uh, budgetary responsibility of the indigent defense from the district court budget to the county manager's budget. This is uh, somewhat preparatory to working. The state's looking at how that's funded and how that works and we're trying to make sure we have clear distinctions from the attorney's office and these types of things. That's something that the Sixth Amendment group and the uh, ACLU are looking at. And so we've, we've been a little proactive on this. We've gone ahead and we're, we're making those distinctions now. And so uh, we, made, we made those shifts. So if you look at that, the district court went down 40000 and I assume the other one balanced well, more than more than 40,000 involved in it, but yeah. that's essentially correct. Yeah. Uh, we did have some changes in the council budget, as we're on that one. Uh, go down to engineering. <coughs> this is simply reflective of what we're seeing. Um, that budget is simply in and out. So we're seeing more projects. Projects come in, they pay, pay, pay the county, and the county pays the engineer. So that's simply reflective of, of the increase of uh, building activity, subdivision of building activity. Kind of a past through. It is. Uh, elections shows we will have an election. That goes up and down. The the general, year. General election. So it's a general election, so there's more money there. Uh, do we know if we're going to do that? Voting in person or by mail? That will have to be determined by the first of the year. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Will when that cost be much different one yeah. way or the other? Okay. No, it's, it's pretty much the same. Whichever way we do it. Okay. Uh, we did have some increases in the uh, sheriff's uh, departments, uh, dispatch, uh, corrections, sheriff department. Uh, that was outlined in my presentation to you that we're looking to add some officers. Uh, in addition to that, which doesn't show up necessarily right in this fund, and I'll show you on the other funds, uh, we'll be doing some, uh, using some of the monies that the sheriff has saved up and some of the monies from the county to propose an addition to the sheriff's office, about a $2 million addition. And uh, we're working on that right now. We're meeting with the architect that process right now, which will greatly improve the security of dispatch and the viability of dispatch in a time of emergency. Dispatch currently is right in the middle of jail. It's 
it's really a precarious situation. So this will really help a lot with that. Uh, Sheriff, do you want to speak? Well, no matter how you look at it, it's a liability issue. Uh, being right, right in the center of uh, the jail itself, you have to go through a secure area. Uh, if something was to happen, uh, medical, we'd probably lose a life because there's so many doors you have to go through to get to them. Uh, you need to have better access to them. And that's coming from experience of what's happened last year. We had to look at some changes. So. Would you say the dispatch probably doesn't require the security that they're under because that's correct. in the middle of jail they can be at that's yes. secure area? Yes. Yes. The, other part, the other part of that is uh, the way we have dispatch set up now, they run the exterior doors uh, with all the jail staff in and out, uh, which liability, if an officer is out on a traffic stop, they're being diverted, their attention's being diverted to the jail staff versus the road officers. Uh, with what's happening across the country nationwide with road officers, uh, the hatred, hatred towards road officers, uh, all, the attention of dispatch needs to be on, dispatch. on, dispatch. on dispatching period and not jail duties. So the time frame on that to be completed through next year? Construction. I hope so. We haven't got to that point, but it probably would be a year's time uh, or so. Uh, going down, uh, animal control, that's simply what we were doing for the Beaver City, which has gone up considerably. Uh, emergency management, we're looking at some more grants Valerie's been working on. And also, we've shifted some of her salary into that line item. Is that correct, Valerie? Yes. And so there's a slight change there. Um, that's more reflective of the time she actually spends on that. 25% of that's required. So, what questions can I answer for you? Yeah. If we are aware of a manual control of $30,000, is that justified? It was kind of, it was that way last year too, it just wasn't budget. It was that amount. Yeah. The problem, I remember our increase, Sheriff, to you, I, in the meetings, I, but maybe it's. Yeah, is that a to share? And, and the, the issue that happened is they did their budget in June. So last year, when they redid the budget, we had to start paying more, even though we budgeted a lower amount, we had to start paying a higher amount. Mm -hmm. Last year was almost 106,000. Increase? No, total. Oh, oh, total. 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 Yeah. So, and that one goes up and down because they, if they buy a vehicle or they do a construction project or they do anything, they, they, it's a one-time allotment, so the budget goes up and down. They don't fund a, a, a capital fund. And they had some of both of that last year. So they they did a new vehicle and they did a, a little bit of a renovation. I got one question for you. Yes. Um, the building inspection department, that's a 34% increase. Um, I know there's a lot of growth going on. I was in a meeting yesterday where we talked about the growth of the Jordanelle and the future projects that could come online, and they've increased quite a bit dramatically. So that number there, I'm just curious, is there any, anything in there to hire somebody else? Or there is. On that, control right now? that is. For, is that what yeah, there's money in there for a new hire. And uh, working with Quinn and Robert, on that, the trigger for that will be one of the big projects we're anticipating before March that happening. But we know we have a couple of hotels that are in the works right now that haven't actually been appointed yet. But the uh, uh, one over in Iroquois and then the Blue Ledge uh, Hotel, which they may be a little further off than the other one that the Iroquois Hotel is proceeding. So once we, we get one of those, like we have to hire an additional person. Does your net revenue generate? Yeah, yeah, the revenues for this one, they're several hundred thousand dollars over what it was budgeted. And uh, conservatively, we've adjusted that up to reflect the ability to hire somebody. So. As you recall, last year in the, in the budget, we did the same thing with the planning department. 
we raised the, we raised the cost with the anticipation that sometime through the year we would need to hire an additional planner. And that took place when about May. Seems like a little ways into the year. It worked pretty good. Yeah. So that's what we've done here. Okay, Council, any other questions on any of those budget items? Uh, Sheriff, is it, are you budgeted in here for your video server and body cameras, or are you going to go for that this year? We have purchased our body cameras already. Uh, if this gets approved, we'll need a couple more. Uh, and the server <coughs> has been purchased and is up and running. Now, depending on where this goes statewide or nationwide as far as uh, uh, how long we have to keep video storage we could run into thousands of dollars more just depending on, on what's policy right, right now as of today uh, when i got hit up about it made a decision to go with at least one year with mobile cameras uh, one year with body cameras as well as the dispatch recordings, everything that's uh, recorded in dispatch would be one year. I don't know if they got that to Don Wood or not. But, uh, they talked a lot about that at the UAC meeting. They said that the cameras aren't too expensive, but for the bandwidth, yes. can really get expensive depending on how much store it's for. For example, our cameras uh, we've got for about uh, $700 a piece, the body cameras, and uh, the storage is right around $50,000. A year? Well, that's the server. That's hardware. Yeah, when that's when we max work. out, you know, we're still growing. We just started. Yeah, yeah. we start spending that kind of money to maintain the hardware. Maintain those no servers. That's the problem when you get talking with the general public. They don't understand the hidden costs of what it really takes to, to wear that body camera to the taxpayers. We do have the O&M figured in there for this. Any anticipated legislation this year that might increase that? <laughs> See where it goes. I have a lot to say to the legislature. Okay. Any other questions, Council? Mike, on the uh, on your permanent employees for a county manager, that's you, Jamie, and uh, Greg. Greg. Right. How much? How much in, do you have budgeted out of your budget for Greg? And then how much do we have budgeted to come as for his revenue from the SSB? Or do you have to budget his entire I, salary? I have to budget his entire salary. Okay. And then we budget with the SSDs to pay back to the county general fund for the portions that he uses. And then that money goes into the general fund and helps pay for this amount. Okay. So that reflects all of it. That's the total amount. That's his total. entire salary is in there. Yep. Have you been getting paid from the SSDs? I don't know. Uh, from Timberlake and Eagle Special Services. Which one? What was the second one? Eagle Special Services. Yes, so, so you're pretty much eating all of it this year? Yeah. Well, but have they been bailed? Yes. Yeah. We maybe need to follow up on the other end of that. Okay. Okay. Any other questions, Council? Oh, I didn't plan. On the, on the ball fields, um, so the county pays for the ball fields, and then once they're complete, then that, the maintenance and operation is turned over to Parks and Rec? Yes. Do we know what our total price on those new ball fields is going to be? Um, we have spent <coughs> That'll be the total. Yeah, a little over two. Is that just on the new field? Oh no, I'll take that back. Yeah. It'll be about two point two million. When it's all done, it's all done. Just on the new field. Well, there's renovations of the old the existing fields as part of that. Yeah, the yeah, the renovations on the old fields is part of it. New lighting. Oh, okay. New lighting, new fencing. So it's that but whole project. You'll recall we added in, we did, instead of doing one <coughs> concession in the quad, we're doing two concessions, and we added a bathroom in there, too. And that had up to the place. Okay. And we paid for that through from the general, or from the reserves from last year? Yes. Do you know how much of that 
camper or reserve. All of it's valid. Oh, really? We have that much in there? Alright, that's fine. Okay, Council, any other? Maybe you'll think of some after the public hearing. Okay, seeing no more questions from the Council, we will open the uh, 2016.